Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm Chris. I'm here with Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube and we have another What's Old video for you today. It is Saturday morning and since it's Saturday our kids are home so you might actually hear them in the background. Um, and yeah, we're gonna go ahead and start following Kathy around to see what's old for us today. And I think we're gonna show how we ship it too. And actually, I just saw another sale come through, so we'll do that one at the end. Um, but we're going to start in box CK. We are actually starting a little bit later than normal. Saturdays, we try to get out by 11.30. It's actually 12.43 right now. Um, so, yeah, we've just been <laughs> doing a lot of work up here, letting the kids play their iPads, since they don't get to play a whole lot during the week. <laughs> yeah. Then we're going to go to the fair today, so yeah. we're just kind of chilling until then. Uh, but first up, these Dance Go booties sold on Mercari for $46 plus shipping. Um, the person did have to message me asking me to change the shipping to USPS because they, I can't remember if it was Hawaii or Alaska, but it oh, couldn't go right. to one of those. So she's like, can you just switch it to USPS? So she did have to pay like, what's that, like four more dollars for shipping, but she still just bought them outright and didn't even make an offer. So that was awesome. I did have $14.99 into those, but it was still a, a good sale. Very nice. All right, and and that's, wait, the USPS, so how are we going to ship that? Oh, yeah, so I don't think those are in a shoebox, so probably a 13 by 13 by 9. Let's see. Yeah, I don't want to squish them though. We do have an assembled 13 by 13 by 9 behind you there from yesterday. Oh, that, that payment was, came through? I think that was, yeah, just... Mercari, I have, like, tech set up, so I always get the text, and then five minutes later I get that, and then might now so <laughs> yeah so we'll just put so, those in there it's a little we might cut it down or add just some packing paper some packing paper we did have to buy new i guess we didn't have to buy a new roll we still have quite a bit of packing paper from my brother's move out here into colorado but i did actually buy another roll of the brown craft paper stuff so that's here too. That up, yeah all right we finally used our ebay coupon although you guys did remind us that it doesn't end this month, right but it ended at the end of september so so we were rushing for no reason <laughs> mixed up yeah so i was i'm actually kind of sad now because i was like oh we'll use one and then in a few more days use another because we needed boxes and we also need longer mailers like right i like the ebay long mailer so i guess we'll wait a month and we'll get those <laughs> yeah um but i saw these nike fly knits i actually just listed them yesterday i put them on ebay and then poshmark in the evening after I put them on Posh, I got an offer pretty much right away, but I had them listed at 79, which I know was a little bit high, but comps were like around 60. Um, somebody offered me 40, so this was like late, late at night, probably 11 p.m. or something, and I just went to sleep on it and see if it might have sold on eBay or got a new offer overnight. I didn't, so I countered in the morning at. I felt like the offer was too low, so I normally I would have countered like 60 something, but because the counter was so low, or the first offer was so low, I went at 75, so I only gave like an extra four bucks off. She came up to 50, so I was uh, I was happy with that. I just yeah. accepted, because 50 plus she's paying the post shipping and tax and everything is about $60, which is what comps were. So a one day flip of 867 into 50, I thought that was yeah, that's really good. Amazing. And it um, is Poshmark, so super yeah, easy so shipping there. This is CJ. I might say CI. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> this colorful Wrangler shirt uh, sold for twenty dollars plus shipping on Facebook, and I have four ninety nine into that. It's only been listed a few days. If you, I like Wrangler in general, but normally I only pick up the pearl snaps. Right. But this, I could just, I just knew the pattern would do well. Yeah. It's I did. It sold in like two or three days. So. Super colorful pattern. Um, I also almost didn't pick this up because it had a weird sizing like this is definitely vintage It has the paper tags made in the USA, but the size said 18 and what does that refer to the neck or something? Maybe it, yeah, but neck when I was measurement. looking up comps most of them were like 18-35 Which that would be like the body the chest, size, right? Yeah, but this one only said 18. So I mean I put measurements and everything huh. but Hopefully there's yeah. no issues there. You need more than just weird. a neck measurement. It to... <laughs> seemed more like, it seemed like around an XL. So hopefully the person read the measurements. And that's just going to go out in a poly. Since we'll probably have Facebook. to fold it a little bit, but put it on these guys. All right. And then 
and see I are over here all day today. Under Armour Police. This is just a women's Under Armour fleece. I got it at the bin, so I have $1.96 into it, and it sold for $15 plus ship on eBay. That was an offer I sent out just because it's nothing special. It's right. just a black fleece, and I think $1.96 into $15 is good. So, yeah, and that'll just go into Polly. Of course, I folded that. <laughs> I need to like, start folding stuff differently. I think I can get it in one of these guys. If not, I'll just do a little bit bigger of a Polly. All right, and then had a bundle sale just come through. So AQ, I think. I was right in a rush writing my letters very bad. All right, so these are some childhood joggers. I'll just grab both items. And then AG, it's another childhood item. So a two-piece bundle? Yeah. These are just some boy shorts. So these are joggers and then boy shorts. I did not send this person an offer, probably just because I forgot. <laughs> like, I, I forget to send kids an offers almost every day now, but they still bought them with my shop discount. I think I had 15% off, too, so they paid $55.25 total, and that includes shipping, and then I paid $5.15 to ship them out. These are both my kids' items. I probably have around $60 total into them, but he did wear them quite a bit. This one even has, like, a little stain on it. Yeah. So... I'm making back most of my money, minus maybe like 12 bucks or so, so I'm happy with that. And yeah, people kept asking me to take like 20 to 24 on these, like literally like four different people <laughs> on different platforms, and I would just keep saying, no, thank you, because these would still fit him come like our holiday season coming up. Right. So I was like, I don't want to let him go for too low because this color isn't available anymore and I know people are wanting it for the holidays so I knew that it would sell so I'm glad I held off and I really would have had them wear them again if they didn't <laughs> sell so all right so these Merrill flats this is a kind of weird style I've never seen before I think these are called like the Oceana flat or something but yeah I picked these up for $5.99 and sold them for $25.25 plus shipping that was an offer I sent out Oh, I didn't. I mean, obviously, the childhoods are just going to go in a poly. The bundle you're talking? Yeah. yeah I forgot to say that. And then oh, the yeah, shoes yeah. are also under a pound, so those are going to also go out in a poly. Um, let's see. What else do we got? <laughs> what do we want to do? Let's do these. All right. And then baby. are just a men's and up um, shoes. <laughs> these ones, I actually really like these ones. They're like a knit, kind of like a Nike fly knit. Yeah. I've never seen Sinooks like that. But these took kind of a while to sell, but I think that's because they were a size 7 men, so right. super common. But I do well with Sinook, um, especially like the more like 10 to, men's size like 10 to 12 sells fairly quickly. So these I have 454 into. They sold for $29.93 plus shipping. Those are under a pound, so they're just gonna go out in a little bigger of a poly. And then be you. I think these are just some women's lucky brand, like moccasins. I actually just bought these at the thrift for myself, but I was cleaning out my closet a couple months ago and I never wore them. They've been sitting there for at least a year, so I just went ahead and sold them. Um, they were sitting on this rack for a few months too before I listed them. Um, but I only paid $2.99 for them and I just wanted to kind of get rid of them, so I just listed them. I don't remember what I listed them for, but I sent an offer today of 10 10 plus shipping, so I'm making like a $5 profit and I'm very happy about that. <laughs> That's gonna pay for my Starbucks. <laughs> Shoes I didn't want turning into Starbucks money. Just a poly on those. They are under a pound. And then last but not least, AE. Okay, this is that Patagonia floral button down from our Denver trip where we were trying to pay for our vacation. 
Um, I think I said I thought it would sell around $30 plus shipping. I listed it, I think, for $35-ish plus shipping. We had a sale running. I sent an offer probably around $29 plus shipping. And the buyer asked if I'd do $25 plus shipping. So hmm. I just did. Yeah. Um, we only paid $5.99 for it. Like I said, in the haul that we did, it's kind of dingy. Yeah. And I was kind of hoping it would go for more. Yeah. I thought it, I mean, I think it would have at least got 30 if I held out. But yeah. $5.99 into $25. i am happy with that. Absolutely. And do another haul on that. So yeah, that is what sold this morning. Oh, and then oh, we had one see. more. That's right. So I just listed these this morning. Actually, I was cross posting. So CM. Nike flip flops. Um, I remember I averaged my cost of goods. I think. I don't know, I put them in normal. So $7.99 is what I bought these for at the Goodwill. And they sold for, I think it was $25. Yep, $25 plus shipping, so not too bad. These sell at least for $20 every time, so I was okay paying $7.99 knowing I could at least get a $10 profit. Right. And quickly, so these were like brand new and women's size 10, which is great. Those will just go out in another poly. There you go. All right. So that's what's sold for us today so far. We're going to get this stuff packed up and we'll be right back. All right, guys. Got everything packed up, ready to go. Did not have any more sales come in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, this month has been great. So. Yeah, it's been pretty good. It's our best month so far, right? If it trend, if it keeps going so. this way. Yeah. Last month was really good. We didn't tell you, so maybe um, come September, we'll actually update the board and do <laughs> We're definitely gonna July, up, yeah. August, and then keep up with September. Those yeah. are our kids if you yeah. know that song. <laughs> so. Yep. That is going to do it for work for today, but like Kathy mentioned a little bit earlier in the video, we're going down to the state fair. We have a nephew who is uh, like in marching band and he's marching in the parade. So we're going to go support him and just spend some time with family. Um, it's a nice sunny day. My allergies have been kind of killing me, <laughs> though, so I'm going to have to pop a few allergy pills or something before I head out and maybe not be too sleepy. But, yeah, that's going to do it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Going to get this stuff off to the post office, which is not our normal one. <laughs> we actually had a viewer who lives in the area say that the Black Forest one is a nice one. Oh, yeah. So it's the opposite direction of where we're going, but we need to check that one out soon because we like the little... Uh, post offices that are no <laughs> that are you know little less known so um, we'll check that out at some point but yeah thanks guys for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next one bye